So, welcome back. We are making something a little different today. I wanted to try out making charcuterie boards. Charcuterie board, I've heard, I see a lot of people making these right now and I'm a little jealous. So, I wanted to try it out for myself. We've got some eight quarter walnut and some eight quarter maple. I also have one live edge looking piece. So, out of this, I think we can get about eight boards. And I have an idea to take one of my line drawings or a couple of my line drawings from my usual scheduled programming, shadow box, and inlay that with some epoxy on the on the boards. It's kind of an experiment. This is the first time I'm trying it. I've not made like a little test piece or anything like that. So what you're seeing is me doing it for the first time and hopefully you can follow along. Hopefully we learn something together. And I think the first thing I need to do, I measured them all and I'm gonna just split them down the middle to make them a little more manageable, smaller and closer to the size that uh, the end product's gonna be. First things first, let's cut them in half, do a little shaping, do a little sanding, get a nice simple charcuterie board. got the uh, board sanded on the sides. If you've not seen that device before, it's a double bevel, like double bevel sanding disc, I think. Uh, I'll link to that in the description. This is another method I'll link to. This comes from Blacktail Studio. He does this on his tables and it's basically just a, I think he uses a 45 degree angle. I'm gonna use a 30, um, but he uses his track saw to, you know, just slice that off and create this kind of gigantic chamfer, which I really like the look of. So we're gonna use that on these. I will take you through the process. It's really simple. The only issue is you need a track saw. So actually, I guess you could do it on the table saw if you're smart enough. I've seen this and it works. So we're gonna do that.
right, so this epoxy's had a mm, couple days to cure. It's nice and hard, so kind of at this point, the last thing to do is just run them back through the sander, then finish up with some hand sanding and Rubio Monaco. So this is kind of the fun part because you get to run it through the sander and see what it looks like. Sand it up to 320. I basically did 150, sprayed it with water like you saw, went 220, passed on the spraying with water for a second time, and then just went with 320. And those three steps, the last time I've tried this uh, on different furniture and whatnot, have worked really well because this, I'm gonna coat it with Rubio Monocoat. It doesn't seem like it raises the grain as much as like say polyurethane, something like that. I really like Rubio Monocoat. It seems like a lot of people are using it these days. It's food safe, so that's what we're gonna go with. And I'm basically just gonna wipe it on with a rag and wipe it off and then we'll check out the final product. And that's it. I like how they came out, but I had to do it over. I think I would use a different, is that stirring making it really hard to hear me? I think I would do a different epoxy. This is like a tabletop epoxy and it's supposed to set quicker and I was being impatient, but there are some bubbles. And I find with that deeper set, longer set time epoxy, it just seems to eliminate a lot of the bubbles. I'm sure I'll make some more of these and I'm gonna use a different epoxy, something that takes a little longer to cure. We'll finish these up. I, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, let me know what you thought in the comments. If you've got any suggestions, things I should try next time. Let me know down below because I definitely will be doing this again. And uh, I'm sure we'll see you in the next video. Hopefully, stick around, subscribe, like, all the good stuff. See ya.